get started. Hey, hold on. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Why? Well, I'm almost at 1,000 subscribers. Let's not forget, once I get to the 1,000 subscribers, I'm going to give away the standard booster box, standard set booster box, so not a draft one. I'm going to give away a set booster box of the most current set, which will be Brothers War in a week. I need like 75 more subscribers, so subscribe. Don't forget, also, there's a little link to the Facebook page. You, you got to you gotta go there, too. You got to, you know, join, because or else I won't be able to contact you. That's the... Disadvantage from YouTube right now is that I cannot contact any people that are on my list. I think they're going to change it very soon, but it's not there yet. So, um, but if you can subscribe to the channel, that will really help me out. And if you really want to help me out, just watch the whole video. Uh, if you do, um, well, you're helping me out. That's the best way you can support the channel. Just watch it until the end. And when you do, um, well, the only thing I can say about it is uh, uh, you'd help be helping out the channel. You'll be helping me grow. And uh, hopefully I can keep doing this. I mean, I've been doing this for, what, now two years with, you know, off and on. But um, I would really like to keep doing this. So please, please, subscribe. Don't forget. Let's go back to the video and let's see what the, the box is going to bring us. Welcome back to another video everybody by Sander for the YouTube channel. Sander over and today we're taking a look at another, you know, one of those boxes that nobody wants. The forgotten box of uh, Baldur's Gate. Now, where is, well, I'll just take this screwdriver, that'll just work, because, you know, you're screwed with this set, let's be honest. This set is cursed. The name Dungeons and Dragons is, is freakingly cursed. So, yeah, nice, nice little piece of cardboard there. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm not a negative Nancy normally, but I am, I mean, I do love, I love all the magic cards and all the sets, but let's face it. This set, everybody got a hose with. So let's see if we can find something that will not hose us. Uh, what's the value? I have no idea what valuable cards are in this set. I uh, I haven't looked it up. So we got a signature. There we go. Let's just put the signatures over here. Let me get this out of the way. There you go. Uh, signatures don't need to be in the uh, uh, shot, crotch shot. Lands don't need in a crotch shot. Okay, so we got an uncommon and a common. I'm gonna put all the commons and uncommons in the same pile. I don't, not, not the alternate art stuff, the, I don't, I don't, uh, no, I don't think that's uh, important enough. So, um, we're going for, ah, look, it's Asterion uh, the Decadent, Death Touch and Life Link. At the beginning of your tip, choose one, feed, Okay, they lose, and friends, you gain equal life to the amount of life you gain this turn. Oh yeah, I've seen that one before. And we got an Earthquake Dragon, which is an Elemental Dragon. That looks pretty cool, actually. I haven't seen this one before. It's a 15 drop. It costs less where X is the total amount and value of dragons you control. Oh, well, that can, you know, that can get out of hand pretty quickly. Okay, it's rare. I'm going to put it on top of this one. And then we got Goggle Knights, and we got an Alabaster Dragon, everybody. For the list card, Alabaster Dragon. That's nice. It, it, I mean, I think uh, uh, in, in discard pile and play, shuffle Alabaster Dragon right back into your deck. So you get to shuffle your library, which sometimes is actually very good if you just keep hitting land. So we've got three uncommons here. We've got a bunch of commons again. And we got uncommons again. And then we got a common again. And then we got. Micro Lord of Bones. Okay. And Jan Jans Jan Janssen. Jan Janssen. It's it's the Dutch version, Jan Janssen, let's face it. I mean everybody calls it Jan Janssen. No, Jan Janssen. That's the normal name for it. But uh Steadfast Unicorn as a common and then we got a token. Um Yeah, I had a little rant in the other video. Maybe you've seen it, maybe I have I don't know if I've posted 
uh, posted it yet. Uh, let's see. What was that? Okay. Um, if uh, you guys have seen that video about me talking about don't buy the 30th anniversary box, don't buy it. We've got a rare in between. That's interesting. And Lorzan and a popular entertainer. That's funny. It's a legendary enchantment background. I haven't played with backgrounds a lot yet, so might be interesting to do. And a token. Um, yeah. So, uh, the, the Phyrexia set's coming up. I mean, everybody loves Phyrexia. Ooh, that looks really cool. That's a cool art. Let's face it. Um, the new Phyrexian set is coming up with a lot of Phyrexians in it, probably. That's going to be crazy times. Uh, does it feel like it's a gimmick? Maybe. Luxury Suite. There you go. And uh, Spire Garden. Two back-to-back -back rare card or rare lands. Wow. Okay. Uh, let's keep cracking. Um... What was I talking about? Oh, yeah. Uh, I was uh, talking about... What was I talking about, everybody? Was it important? Probably not. I'd never talk about anything important. Oh, yeah. Uh, about the uh, 30th anniversary set and, uh, well, the Phyrexian set coming up. Phyrexia set is going to be awesome, but I have the feeling that it's a gimmick. Because they want to want you to buy it. They want to sell product. And so they pick the favorite theme so there's probably going to be another Eldrazi set or something big coming out um and the fact also that okay we got a, a, a three rares we got Gale that's kind of cool and we got a mirror of life trapping when the creature enters the battlefield if it was cast exile it then return it then return all other permanents cast exile with mirror of life trapping to the battlefield under their owner's control Oh, okay. And, uh, wait, four rares in one pack? Okay. And we got a Wrathful Red Dragon and Call to the Void. And, oh, a uh, Kaldheim card. War Chander Skull. Okay, that's an uncommon. Anyway. Um, yeah, I just have a feeling they're going to push a lot more product next year. Uh, some... Uh, uh, marketing guy at um at wizards said it in an interview that they're not going to cut back on the amount of product that they're going to pump out next year which gail once again and agent of the iron throne wait oh and elminster in full art there he is looking pretty schmick i like that and eldritch pact okay and a skilled nurturer and a copy. Um, yeah. So they're not really listening right now, but also, I mean, they have the printers reserved for another. They're working like six months in advance, probably. So they're already like halfway through the year. And they got some other stuff lined up already in the development, so they're not going to cut back on that. Maybe next year, maybe in 2024, they're finally going to learn their lesson. But I think before that, people will have rejected more products than you can think of. Bane, Lord of Darkness, is legendary god. As long as your life total is less than or equal to half of your starting life total, Bane, Lord of has indestructible. Okay, when another non-token creature you control dies. Target opponent may have you draw a card. If they don't, you may put a creature card with equal or lesser toughness from your hand onto the battlefield. Wow. Got to keep your hand filled, though. Got to keep him filled. Raga Draga. Okay, Gorgod's boss. Each creature you control with mana with a mana ability gets plus two, plus two. When a creature you control with a mana ability attacks and tap it. Okay. So it first taps, so you can still destroy it if it's, yeah. Whenever you cast a spell, if it's at least seven mana was spent to cast it, untap target creature, it gets plus, plus seven, plus seven, and gains trample until end of turn. Okay, that's a fast card. It's burn and die. And a cleric, okay. And uh, nothing. Okay, 
Um, so, uh, yeah, it feels a little bit negative, and I know everybody's like, mm -hmm. oh, don't have to be negative Nancy about it. I'm not really negative about uh, what's coming out. I'm just negative about the amount of product that's coming out. The products are good, most of them. I mean, some people are, you know, say that it's not. Corlissa, oh, we got another Ragged Ragger. Okay. Um, and a Sepperling. Um, people are saying that the products are not good, but they're just pissed off at the market. This product, though, this product is good for Commander, sure. But there's also a lot of stuff in it that nobody really cares about yet, maybe. I don't know. Maybe they'll fix it with some other set that's coming out that Synergy is, like, unbelievably good. Uh, yeah, this is okay. This is a Banishing card. Gate Colossus. That's always fun with gates. And there's a gate. Of course there's a gate. And there you got Jahira, Friend of the Forest. Tokens you control have add... Mana. Okay. Uh, so you whenever you can combine it with this one. That's fun. Whenever a creature you control with a mana ability attacks, untap it. So your tokens will have it. And choose a background. Well, that's fun. Okay. Cool combo. And the Council of Four. There we go. Yeah. And a Illithid Harvester with a javelin javelin in Javelin of Lightning. Never seen that one before, but that's probably because it's a common. And you can pay two life for this to cast it. Put target creature from graveyard on top of its owner's library. And it's it's a Phyrexian card. Uh, yeah. Um Do do I think that the market's gonna you know Accept the products again? That's a hard one to say. I think they will. In the end, they will. Oh, Minsk and Boo is back here with nine finger. So a nine finger keen. And Minsk, the Boo, and Zevlor Elturel Exile. Gee, what a name. Sorry about you. I don't know who named you, but. Uh, <laughs> Uh, come on, pack. Open up. Okay, so. Uh, artsy, landsy, commonsy, uncommons. And then we got Miriam, Sent Sentinel Worm. And then we got that. And then uh, Gut, the true soul zealot. Whenever you attack, you may sacrifice another creature. Would you do create a black 4-1 skeleton creature token with menace that's tapped and attacking that okay and sea of clouds there's another rare land and a token okay so we're uh two thirds through the box after this pack it opens there you go um and i think that we should just hang back and see what happens if there's a product that you really like, buy it. Don't buy it because you're fear because of the fear of missing out. That would be a big no-no. Don't do that. You can do it. I mean, I'll sell the product to you with, you know, uh, with pleasure. But don't overdo it. Don't buy too much product that you cannot afford. There's a list card in this one. Yep. Go away. And land. There you go. And commons. And uncommon. 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 And we've got noble heritage. And Zelvor. Another another one with the Eltural Exile. I'll just read it. Haste. Two. And tap it. And if you cast an instant sorcery spell, that target is a single opponent. Or a single permanent. And an opponent controls this turn. For each other opponent, choose that uh, choose that player or a permanent they control. Copy that spell and the targets. And copy the targets chosen player or permanent. Whoa. Okay. <sighs> Too much text. <laughs> Wizard of thing with myriad. Myriad's fun. 
I've seen people play with Myriad, and it's fun. Let's face it. Oh, look, it's a, I think it's a Commander Legends card, like from the original one. Rayab, the Master Smith. It's uncommon. Well, that's okay. You can already tell if there's a list card in the in the back. Because if there's a like this, then there's not. So there's a token in the back. Ganax Estro Hunter, an uncommon, and then we got some commons, and we got some uncommons. So yeah, everybody. Oh, ancient copper dragon, there he is. Whoo! Creation number treasure tokens equal to the result. Nice. That is really nice because uh, I really like it. And you can, if you can combine it with uh, Old Nabo. Whoo! And then we got Will, Blade of Frontiers, and a Descent into Avernus with a Sword Coast Serpent. Yeah, that's a common and a token. So we got four packs left, and I think I'm going to have a washer peeping and beeping in a minute. Oh, that'll be fun because, yeah, I do live, you know, in a third floor attic. Let's face it. Um, <laughs> well, this here it lives in the third floor attic so uh common uncommon yeah there you go and common and uncommon no no that, mm, that's common and then we got bountiful promenade okay and i think i got all of them now no i got four of them um yeah everybody so let's uh let's face it let's hope for something uh good coming out and they can you know and the market will accept it but do not buy that 30th anniversary thing you will get hosed if you're not getting hosed and you're one of the few that get there he goes uh that gets like a power nine well power to you i really i really think it's cool that you got one elminster simulac sim simulacrum for each opponent, you create a token that's a copy of one up to one target creature that player controls. Whoa, that's a powerful card. Ooh, I like that one. Huh. Hmm. Maybe I should build something with that. Oh, oh, shut up, center. Oh, we got a list card. And uh, so we got an uncommon. The washer is going to beep again. So just so you know. Um, then we got Glunch. There's always a jellyfish in every set. Let's face it. And nobody plays with him. But I think you can make a commander deck out of him right now. I think you can. John Irencius. Okay. And an Albert, Albert Cub. Aw, that's cute. Oh, and what's this? What is this? Heartless Haitsugu. Now, I don't know which set it's from because I don't recognize the symbol. Is it a... Well, I don't know. Heartless. Okay, deals damage to each player equal to half that player's life total rounded down? What? Wait. Are you guys reading this? Heartless. Haitsugu deals damage to each player... Equal to half that player's life total. Round it down. Whoa. Okay. Well. Everybody's going to be like, that's got to go. Give it haste and you can, you can, oh, and you can tap it and they lose instantly half their life. Wow. Round it down. Round it down. Okay, last pack, everybody. Well, I've really enjoyed looking at these cards again. It's been a while. It's been like half a year or so. Uh, if you like this kind of stuff, like and subscribe. Don't forget. And I, I just need 50 more subscribers, and then I'm going to give away standard boost box of the most current set. So, Rahira's Respite and Barroom Brawl. Target... Creature you control. And this is a token, but you know, uh, target creature you control fights target creature opponent. Your to your left controls. Then that player may copy this spell and may choose a new target for the copy. But wait, wait, wait! That that keeps going round. Then that it would come back, and you would 
because you would create a copy, right? You copy the spell, and then you fight a creature that your opponent controls, and then they, and then, okay, that means everybody dies, except for one creature. Which is probably yours because you're hopefully, well, hopefully you have the biggest one. And indestructible. Okay, everybody. We got four mythics. We got a bunch of rares. We got a bunch of list cards. Uh, and it's actually pretty good. I hope you guys enjoy this stuff. I want to keep doing this. I hope that Wizards is not going to make any rash decisions about selling this only through Amazon or something. Uh, that will be very bad for me, but also for for everybody on the internet. Let's face it. Um, but hopefully, everybody can enjoy the cards in the future. Now that said, I wish you a very fine weekend. Have a good week. I will see you probably next week, and uh, hopefully with some good stuff. And maybe some arena videos. And until then, uh, stay cool, be safe, and I'll catch you on the next one.